All right, he's Mega here, and welcome to another desktop anime figure show and tell with Toa Higurashi here from uh, the anime Yashahime, okay, the anime and manga. All right, uh, I got her from Hobby Link Japan for three thousand three hundred sixty-seven yen. All right, that's about thirty U.S. dollars, probably a little less than that. And I had her shipped with a bunch of other stuff, so I'm not going to go over the price all that much. Um, you could probably get her in the United States now. I think the pop-up rates, they go for around like 40 bucks. And then the shipping is like probably somewhere around $10. Okay, so this would be like a $50 figure. Uh, and I, I'm pretty sure I did like, I must have done a surface mail or something to get her here. I got her pretty fast. But she's been sitting around for a long time and I'm finally going to do the show and tell. All right. So Hobby Link Japan, 3000 367 yen, all right, around three, 30 US dollars. Okay, so let's go check the box out, all right? So um, it's it, it's a pop-up parade, all right? It's a pop-up parade figure from Good Smile Company uh, of Toa Higurashi right here, okay? And then it's in the pop-up parade boxes, all right? It's a nice clear plastic, so you can you could use the, the, the box as a display case, which is really nice, okay? Um, and then for whatever reason they cut the edges off of the box. I don't know. Does that let dust in there or not? I'm not sure guys Maybe you want to put tape over those or something So it's a little more um, You know dust doesn't get in as much. I don't know. I don't know why they cut the edges like that <laughs> So yeah, they're like all like that. Okay, this their do uh, box artwork. All right It looks a little different from the newer ones. So I want to say Okay, so we got a nice clear window in the front. I'd say that's like 75% pop-up parade here. All right, the, um, it's becoming really popular. It's an inexpensive, oh here, okay, we can read this. <laughs> pop-up parade is a new series of figures that are easy to collect with affordable prices and speedy releases. Each figure is typically stands around 17 to 18 centimeters in height and, ser and the series features a vast selection of characters from popular anime and game series with more to be added soon all right yep they got a whole lot there there's a there's a lot of pop-up parade figures available now so it, they're so these are non-scale figures uh, they said they're 17 to 18 centimeters my guess it would be somewhere around like a 10 110 scale that's my guess okay and it says there's a shop pro sticker here Good smile logo here. This is the Yashahime logo. Okay, is uh, if you guys don't know, Yashahime is the sequel to Inuyasha. Okay, and then Toa Higurashi here. Okay, and she's the uh, I I I call her the Ikemen. <laughs> she's, she's a handsome she's a handsome lady. Is <laughs> what so I call her. All right, and then uh, here you've got another seventy five percent view of the figure. Inside the box, it says pop-up parade here with the Good Smile logo right there. Good Smile happy face. And then, oh yeah, we didn't go over like the art inside the box. So we'll go over it when we go back around again. But here we've got pop-up parade again with the, some like boxes and stuff. Boxes and triangles. Shape. Shapes <laughs> is what I to say. Alright, Good Smile Company here. There's, oh, okay, there's a, it's in three different languages in the back here. There's a Good Smile Company um, website here. Ages 15 and up, and I'd imagine this is PVC and ABS right here, okay? It also does say copyright Rumiko Takashi, Shogakuken Yomiuri TV Sunrise 2020. Licenses by Shogakuken Shueisha Productions, okay? All right, and this is pretty much the same as the other side, except it says Good Smile Company here. All right, and we're back to the front. And, like, yeah, so the logo, I mean, the design in the background is just a bunch of, like, kind of geometric shapes. Like squares and triangles and stuff. I don't know what that has to do with Toa, but there it is. Okay, the top, there's nothing. Okay, the bottom, there's pretty much nothing. It's just white. Okay, pretty pretty plain packaging. Would I keep it in the box? Yeah, of course I would keep it in the box because this is a this is a great um, these figures are great to keep in the box because uh, 
you could see the figures and you could use the box as a display figure it's it's really clear you could see it from all different sides if i was to keep her in the box all right i would take all the plastic outside uh you could probably display it like this too but if but i would take the plastic outside i would put her on the base also also um it wouldn't be good to keep all the plastic in there because she wouldn't be holding her sword all right i would assemble the figure keep her in the box and then prop her up on something put like a little box in there or something to to get her up over this or you could take the uh the paper liner out all right this paper this where it says pop up parade here and there's the background you could take that out of the box and then you could just have it like just clear also okay so uh let's uh do the unboxing Okay, if you're wondering what it looks like inside the box, that's what it looks like on the bottom. It says Pop-Up Parade, and it's got that same triangle and square logos, or, or designs. Alright, that's the inside of the box. Continue. Okay, there she is, Toa Higurashi, all right? She's a, so uh, I'll tell you now, um, the pop-up parade figures, they usually come in pairs, all right? Uh, but this one came out in a trio, okay? Obviously, because the three the three heroines in the story, all right? The three main characters are three, they're three female characters. So so we got Toa and then Setsuna and, and Moraha, okay? So, so those are the three characters that come for the uh, the the Yashahime uh, figure line, all right. They also, I th I believe there there's a bunch of other ones. There's a but these are the three main female characters for the Yashahime anime. I believe they have the Inuyasha. They have there's a Seshumaro. I have the Seshumaro. There's a Kagome, and there's a Kikio. There's a Kikio also. Okay, so yeah, they got all the characters from all Inuyasha and Yashahime type thing. So. Yeah, I, I do have I do have the Kikio and I do have the Seshumaro. I might I may get more, but I also do have the other two sisters, so check that out. I'll probably put these I'll probably do all these figures at the same time. So uh if you want to check those other videos out, uh, I will put links at the end of the video. Okay, but this one is on Toa here, okay? Toa the the girl that I don't wanna yeah, I know, I don't wanna go through her back backstory all that much. So, so I don't wanna spoil it for everyone. That hasn't watched it yet but yeah she's uh she is the she's the daughter of seshumaru and and she has a sister named setsuda she has a twin sister named setsuda and she gets sent back into the she gets sent to the future and lives with uh the higurashi family okay that's why her last name is higurashi and then she so that's where she grew up she grew up in the modern times <laughs> is what i say and then she goes back to find her sister and and then the, the adventure the adventure happens okay so check it out yasha hime <laughs> okay but here is the the uh toa figure okay there she is looking all handsome and everything right so i i believe yeah so if i remember correctly the uh, uh the this is a the male out male school outfit all right there's male school uniform for the school that kagome west went to right um and she's it's definitely like since kagabe wear the you know the sailor outfit the, with the with the skirt and everything this is this is the men's this this is the men's uh uniform is what i want to say or the boys uniform so she dresses like a dude <laughs> she dresses like a dude she kind of acts like a dude too but she's she's a uh, she's more outgoing than her sister is what i want to say okay anyway that's that's a little stuff about uh toa higurashi all right so the assembly is three pieces, all right? There's the base, which is this one, two, three, four, five, six, hex hexagonal, right? Hex six, six sides. And then you got the figure to of Toa, and then you got her sword, all right? That, that like, energy sword that she carries around, right? So it's, it's a broken sword, right? <laughs> That's what it is, basically. Okay. Uh, so let's do a quick uh, 360. Um, she's held on by three pegs also. I think there's two pegs on her foot right here and then one peg right here. All right, and they hold her pretty well. I don't think she'll have any problem leaning unless you have her leaning, leaning 
already but if she's if you keep her straight up and down I don't think she'll have any problem leaning in the future okay let's do a quick 360 okay so uh, let's uh, uh, Hayes Omega is going to go take a closer look at her and then we'll scrutinize this figure. However, there's not much we can scrutinize about it because it's like it's like price figure cost, but it's a high quality figure is what I want to say. But we'll, we will find that out when I come back. All right, Hayes Omega. Okay, so let's take a closer look at Toa here. All right, or we'll start at the base. So the base is this uh, kind of um, kind of clear blue hexagonal base. All right hexagonal base okay and uh so we're gonna take a look at her feet right now like i said there's three pegs holding her feet up we'll hold, let her feet attach to the base all right she's wearing some like i don't know they look just like uh they look like some hiking boots they do look like hiking boots <laughs> that's probably what they are they're like they look like leather hiking boots is what they look like tady Omega. all right and then it's got the laces here it's like a yeah, it's like a kind of light brown color, and then the laces are like a darker brown color. So I'll we'll say, all right, there's a little tongue right there, pretty, pretty detailed. All right, there is also a sole. You can see the sole. There's also some kind of like panel lining that separates the sole from the boot. All right, and it looks like it like there's like a break in it right here and here okay the panel lining so I gotta kinda gig them for that a little bit it's noticeable it's in the front of the figure too <laughs> I don't know but but you know what I can't gig up for, for it too much maybe that's the way it would look in real life I don't know alright there's no kinda shading on the boots at least I don't think there is and then you could see the the cuff of her pants it, it ends perfectly right it's uh, like her her uniform is tailored exactly for her all right it ends like right at the top like maybe there might be an inch gap all right if if it was a one-to-one -one scale right there's like an inch gap between the the cuff of the pants and the the top of the boots okay I don't know if those those are what comes with the school uniform but I imagine some uh, hiking boots would get you uh, Get, get you around better in the samurai era, as I would say, all right? And it looks like she's wearing some, like, white socks underneath. You can actually see her, her feet go into inside the boot and everything. Very good. Nice detail. I can see a little seam line on the front there. I don't know. Maybe the socks have some kind of seam line on it. So I can't really gig them for that. Okay, let's move up and check out her pants, all right? You can tell she irons her pants. They're nice and crispy looking. <laughs> so this is the this is one of those times I would say like it's okay to have like a seam line on the figure because it's it's like a pleat on the pants. All right. So if you were to go iron your pants, you would fold it along that line, right? So I I believe that's intentional, right? And then you could see like a seam right here. So they intentionally molded these seam lines into the pants. All right, so very, very good, very realistic. Is that how how a real school uniform pants, a Japanese school uniform pants look like? Right, <laughs> probably. All right, you can see the folds in the back for where her knees are bending a little bit. Very nice. All right, it's a little roughly on the front of her knees also. Is there any kind of shading? Uh, you know what? It looks like there might be a little bit of shading because it's like a Oh, what? I would say that's a matte white. I wouldn't say it's flat white. I think it's a matte white color for her the school uniform, and it looks like there's like kind of hints of purple or blue in it for shading. All right, but it doesn't look too much shaded. Maybe just around where all the folds of the pants are. It looks pretty cool. All right, let's move on up. This is kind of a small figure, so I guess we can move up really, really quickly, all right? So here's the jacket or blazer. Uh, and then, yeah, so it's that same matte white, and it's got like purple uh, kind of trim along the edge here. Very nice. It's a two button. She's got two buttons here, and it's unbuttoned right now. All right. Um, I guess it's our, like it's like a bronze color. Everything looks good. It's actually it's actually shinier paint than what's on the on the uniform. So that's good. 
you could see her belt buckle here too, holding her pants up. All right, and she's got, it's got like a brass buckle. It looks to be like kind of like a black leather belt. That's what I'm thinking. Okay, and then like kind of the rest of it, you just see the front of it and the rest of it just hidden by her jacket. Okay, pretty cool. Uh, what else? Let's, she's got like a pocket right here. I know he's making us just going over like all the features of the of her uniform. <laughs> she's wearing like a purple shirt. There's a purple shirt, but she's got like a kind of like a pink bow tie tied around the, the top here. Is that how all the dudes wear it at their school? I don't know. <laughs> okay, she's got another button here, like where you would put the at the cuff, right? And then it looks like the that you could see a little piece of the purple shirt sticking out from the jacket a little bit very nice very realistic as well i'll say like it's like how you would think it would be in real life you could see her hand is stuffed into her pocket right here all right this this figure not a lot of skin she ain't showing a lot of skin that's for sure um but you know the little this little piece of skin that you can see i don't know it looks good it's it doesn't look too shiny it doesn't look too not shiny as i'm gonna say all right it's like kind of like a matte finish She's got some pretty fair skin too, as I want to say. She's yeah, she's actually kind of pale looking. That's <laughs> what I want to say. She's getting out in the sun more. That's what I want to say. And then you can see at the back of the jacket, there's some uh, a seam right here, seams right here and here where the jacket comes together. And then like you could see it like the folds and everything. Very nice, very realistic. Then you got that kind of like seam where you would you know get an iron on type of thing. She's got a pretty bony looking elbow here <laughs> so i say they her her uniform looks very crispy she i guess she takes takes great care to make sure it's nice and crispy looking all right there are buttons along the in, undershirt also for the shirt that's what i'm gonna say but you, they're the same color as the shirt so, and then the shirt does have a pocket underneath on it also it's like on her left boob <laughs> so i'm gonna say Okay, yep, you could tell she's got some little boobies, all right. She's, she's got a little bump on her chest. That's Toa for you. I mean, she she's like a, she dressed like a tomboy, all right. <laughs> so, okay, and then there's her face. She's got brown eyes. She's looking to the, to the left, right? The way she's looking at you, she's got a little smile on her face. She's trying to look cool. She does look cool, <laughs> in my opinion. All right, and then so she's she's got like the gray hair, the Seshubaro hair. She, so if it's one of the things that she got from her father, it's his hair, all right? She's got like, she's like a short-haired version of her father, is what I want to say. She's got that little um, stripe, that pink stripe on her hair, all right? So Toa got the hair from her dad, for sure. You can see the collar for the undershirt right here, and you can see her neck. Like I said, she's not showing a whole lot of skin. She's a real, got real pale looking skin too. And then you can see um, her ear sticking out. Let's zoom in a little bit. Her ear sticking out from her hair right here. All right, you can kind of see the line separating the front and the back, but it, it's hidden pretty well. So what I'm gonna say, it looks like it comes up around here and goes down here. But like this kind of hair in the front, the bangs kind of hide everything. Pretty cool. Hair looks good. I don't really see any, I can't really find any flaws with this figure. All right, like in, in uh, with the molding and anything, I don't see any flaws. So it's very good. That's what I want to say. For a simple figure. It does look like it kind of has some shading. That or like the, the molding is just so well on these, uh, on these kind of um the folds and stuff on our uniform that it looks like it's shaded the molding is like really good okay and then the last thing is we'll go look at her katana all right there it is i forgot what the name of it is i'll put a subtitle below i i believe it's the one that she got she it was it's like a sub some kind of treasure or something that that she got and she, she tried to fight with it and then it broke <laughs> so, um but yeah here it is it's a uh, it's kind of got, it's like a dark gray, 
or it's, it's like a gonna gray saya all right or a scabbard it's got like a little little the butt plate on the bottom here i forgot what it's called Ooh. and i believe it does go this way it goes this way so you when you draw it out that's how you you're supposed to draw it this way all right but she's just kind of just holding it right now here's the uh, the straps that go around here and then there's that um there's another like metal piece that goes on the other end of the mouth of the saya. All right, there's the, I believe it's called the suka, right? That's uh, the handle. It's, it's uh, I think it looks like, it's like a brown, like a brown leather. And then um, it's got like the diamonds and everything. There's This is the suba right here. What does the suba look like? I don't know. The suba just looks, it looks like it's made out of like bronze or something the same color as the, the other metal parts on the sword okay nothing too special it like it's shaped in like kind of like a cross sort of if you look at it carefully okay yeah so it's shaped kind of like in a cross there's like a cross shape on the suba or it could be like kind of like some kind of flower pattern you know subas are, are designed to look like a whole lot of different stuff usually flowers and stuff Okay, there it is. The sword looks pretty good. It looks straight, and I don't really see anything, any bad molding problems with it that I can see of, you know, and the paint looks good. It's solid. Good stuff. All right, and I, so I believe that's all there is to talk about. I have to say, this is a great, it's a great figure. It's, you know, it's simple. Uh, not a lot of skin. It's Toa. It to Honestly, Toa is not Hades' biggest favorite character. Morha has uh, sorta, and I think Setsuna is really pretty. So, <laughs> so Toa is just kind of like, uh, you know, she. Toa is just the more. She's the more like kind of outgoing character in the in the series, is what I want to say. So, I do I do kind of like her though. So her I like her personality. Is <laughs> what I want to say. All right, but yeah. So there she is, Toa Higarashi from Yashahime. Uh, good good figure. Um, and I will be doing a, a figure show and tells for the other three, uh, the other two girls, the other two girls, Setsuna and Moraha. Um, and then I will be displaying them all together. I, I will try to display them all together somehow. Maybe I'll just put them all in one box or something or, or we'll figure it out. Um, I don't know if I'm going to keep her in the box or not yet. The good thing about these figures is they're not very big, so they're they're pretty easy to display somewhere. You know, I Hades Mega is kind of running out of space to put figures. The bigger figures, you really have to decide where you're going to put them and stuff because, you know, you need space for them. But these smaller ones, they're easy to collect and easy to display is what I want to say. All right, and it looks great, and it's inexpensive. That's so... It's it's another win for a pop-up parade is what I want to say. Hades, Hades Mega is going to start doing more of these pop-up parade uh, videos, so check them out. So there you go. That's Toa Higarashi from Yashahibe. Thanks for watching. I'll, I'll get some 360 video and close-ups. That's the end of the video. Thanks for watching.